Hello everyone, my name is Asim Khan from People's Production and today I will be teaching you how I created this image. So let's get started. Let me make a page then add some images to create a basic structure. So I am using this building image and this floor image. I am blending this with the help of flare mask and a soft edge brush. Then after that I am going to blend the highlight and shadows with the help of curves and colors with the help of color balance. Then I added this car. So what I need to do is crop this car out of that image. So I am using a pen tool. As you can see I am going roughly in this. You can go in a more precise manner. I am going to layer mask these windows with the help of a pen tool. As you can see I am not going in a precise manner. I am going to add this broken glass image and put it behind that building and try to match the perspective by matching the lines. As you can see, I am trying to match the lines of the building to make sure that it is in a perfect perspective. I am layer masking this window in that way so that we can get some more variation and then put this image behind that and try to match the perspective a few more so after that I added this man who is throwing a bottle with the fire. And then this man who is throwing something smoky, I don't know what is that. Then I added some more elements uh, like this. Uh, cops and this tire who is in fire oh, it rhymes uh, then layer mask it with the help of soft edge brush and then after that this car I'm using the same technique as before I'm using a pen tool and I have cut out one more element uh, that is the man who is in fire which is in the foreground I am placing this in a perfect position. I need to replace the sky, so I am making a cutout. I'm going to put a black and white adjustment layer on the top and match the highlights and shadows with the help of curves. I need to blur those buildings at the back. So what I have done over here is I made a copy of it and then blur. I have used a gradient tool to create an illusion that the building those are at the back are blur. I added this fire image and drop it individually so that I can get each and every fire in a new layer. I am using this lasso tool and changing the blending mode to screen. Then all we need to do is placing the fire where we want to place.
I am using this image to create some more destruction in our manipulation. So all we need to do is that crop the part of the image that we want and then place it in a perfect perspective. We need to match the line and then merge it with the help of a layer mask. I don't like this dome so I am going to cut out the help of a pen tool and paint it with the black and the colors which are there on that building so that it can create an illusion that something is behind that. Then we find some cops with the help of a layer mask. I have used some brush over here to create a dark feel. So as you can see those things which are at the back are blurred and those things which are in the foreground are in focus. So I am making shadow with the help of a soft edge brush. Then we need to make some highlights and shadows on that car. So what I am doing over here is I am going to link a layer with, the, with this car image and paint it with the black brush and some light over there and reduce the opacity and try to ma make that look real. And some over there. So all we need to do is paint and then some color balance. Then I created some fog and pack with the help of a brush and I'm going to darken some more elements. As you can see this man. So the guy which is in the front don't look so real. We need to refine these edges with the help of a layer mask. And then darkening some more images and creating some light with the help of a brush. I'm using the same color of the fire so that it match easily and then I'm going to darken some more images with the help of curve. I'm going to add this jet plane so I'm going to crop it with the help of a layer mask. I'm using a bright color at the back so that I can layer mask it in a more proper way. I need to match the highlight and shadows and blur a bit. I need to create some smoke that is coming out of that plane. So I'm using this smoke brush tool. I'm going to give you the links in the description so that you can also use this all brushes in your images. Create some smoke over here so that it looks like he's throwing something smoky. I don't know what I'm saying but it looks like that he's throwing something smoky. I hope you get it. I'm using different variation of smoke brush so that it don't look monotonous. I'm painting this brush so that it looks more polluted. I'm 
then after that I added some man at the back so that it looks like that people are standing over there I'm going to give you the link of all the brushes that I'm using in this and created some highlights added this gradient field to do the overall color correction and some black stroke to darken the image then after that I used a blue gradient to make a combination of blue and orange and then I'm going to use some curves and brightness and contrast I have created some highlights with the help of a brush As you can see, I am doing it roughly, I am going to refine this with the help of layer mask. I am using the same technique, I am changing the blending mode to overlay and create some highlights and shadows with the help of a brush Get some more highlights after doing this all highlights and shadows I'm going to merge all this layers in one by pressing ctrl shift alt e and making that layer a smart object then i'm going to play in camera raw filter by changing some highlights and shadows and increasing some texture and clarity and changing some colors so this is our final image I hope this video is going to help you to create your own photo manipulation and if you like this video please hit the like button and if you are new to our channel please subscribe it and bye bye.